Do you mind if I give you a hug and kiss? Please do. Okay. I love you so much, Mom. Former Staff Sergeant Edmund Clark went to war three times. I just had to come and visit you. Elizabeth Laird hugged him each time he left and each time he came back. The 83-year-old Air Force vet figures she's hugged about a half million departing or returning Fort Hood soldiers since the Iraq War began in 2003. That's America. Soldiers simply call her the Hug Lady. Now they want to help her fight. I've had breast cancer since 2005, and it has metastasized into my bones, into my lungs. She's too sick to be where she wants to be. Veterans Day Parade in Killeen, where everyone seems to know her. The hug lady was very inspirational. My first deployment to Afghanistan. You know, every time we were coming back, we were like, hey, we're going to see the hug lady today. We're going to see the hug lady. One American impacted, impacted so many other people's lives. Soldiers knew Elizabeth Laird would always be there. Now she can't be. Support the troops with the yellow. I'll bring yellow bows tomorrow. So they sure come to her at Metroplex Hospital. She says she started hugging soldiers for a simple reason. I want them to know that God will take care of them, but they have to ask him. And for those who didn't return? For several years, whenever they had a memorial service, I'd go out there yeah. and I would hug their families. She understands loss. Her husband and daughter died suddenly in the same week in 2008. Still. She came for the soldiers. I love them, they're wonderful. Now they're hugging back, raising more than $50,000 for her care through a GoFundMe account set up by her son. You need to be hugged. I do. Elizabeth Laird has refused chemo and radiation, preferring prayer and purpose. Because we've got some flights coming up, gotta get out there and hug you. Yeah, yes ma'am, <laughs> yes ma'am. You have always been there, and I know you always will be. And I really appreciate everything you've done for us. So, for so